This is a lot of wacky fun. I love synthesizers, and if you strum the stringy six better than you tickle the ivories, then this could be a fun way to getting into making Nintendo noises. Monophonic means you'll need to be precise in your playing, so keep that in mind. Take a listen. Ponder the possibilities. Where the fuck am I going?
if I ever had kids, I would let them listen to music because music seems like like a fine thing, like a fine thing to listen to. Abstraction is the key to emotional intelligence. If you're asking my opinion on the matter, so I think listening to music is a good thing. Um, Whoa, a wagon wheel! <laughs> Uh, what do you get when you cross Game & Watch with Kenny Loggins' bass lines with the soundtrack from the Ninja Turtles NES game and a dial-up modem? Mm. George, the sounds of George Bush trying to watch porn in the White House. Yeah, that's correct. Actually, uh, let me check my notes. Yes, that, that's actually correct. No, psych, <laughs> it's the Monosynth by Elect... Sure, harmonics. It had all those sounds in it. I was like, oh, Kenny Loggins bass sound. Oh, the boss fight for Bebop, rock, for Rocksteady in the original NES uh, Ninja Turtles. Oh, a dial-up modem. Oh, R2-D2. The, the ghosts from the Legend of Zelda original for NES uh, from the graveyard. When they would yeah. fly around, you'd hit them. It has all of that. It's. I think that's a, what it's designed to be. Well, I mean, not really. It's a monophonic synthesizer. That's why it's called monosynth. And it's just... Oh, it's not sick? That's good. It's healthy. Good. It's in good health, but it is. it does have a bitchin' case of monophonic synthesis inside of it. And this is that sound... I mean, like, this isn't for everyone, but it is very unique, and it is very well executed. The it's tracking, really fun to play through. Really fun to play through. I wouldn't know you were playing it, but... Track none of these pedals track perfectly. They make a they make like a Mellotron pedal as well. Yeah, I used to have that one, the Mel Nine. Yeah, the Mel Nine. The Key so, Nine's cool too. That's a cool pedal as well. Is that like vintage keys or what is? Yeah, that it's like Rhodes and Whirly and stuff. It's Sick. a cool pedal. Sick. So they never fully track super well. So the better you are at playing, the more likely it is to track. But none of these are ever going to be perfect. It's you know it's taking the information from from the guitar and. Uh, you really have a to synthesizer. you really have to isolate strings because when you're playing it, and if you were hit two notes at once, it will flip out. I'm, I'm sure you guys heard that a couple times in the video. It's yeah, you have to be very good. This is the type of pedal you could run anything through. Well, specifically like bass or guitar. Absolutely. Um, I mean, it has like a bass setting. We'll be listing all the different things. I didn't include or incorporate any of the, and we could have actually just run this pedal direct in, honestly, but I didn't incorporate any of the actual guitar sound, so you know, it was an exercise in futility to even show the, you know, to show the dry sound, but that's just what we do. Yeah, it's 100% wet. There is no dry, there's, is there even a dry mix knob on that pedal? No, there is. Yeah, yeah. I, just, I just left it off because we know what that guitar sounds like from the beginning of the video, and it's that like, makes well, sense. let's hear what the pedal sounds like. And that's showbiz, baby. That's how you gotta do it when you're when you're doing it for your friends. Nintendo. Nintendo.